Okay, I told y'all the other day that I was going to do um, a freezer haul. And the reason why I want to do this, there's some things that you're going to see that are in my freezer that are either dehydrated, processed, or whatever. There's some things that you're going to see, like I have apples that are past where we would eat them. Um, they will eventually become slush and go in the worm bin, things of that nature. I will try to avoid showing them to you. But the big thing that I want to show you is the, pro the meat purchases that we have made so that, and yes, some of, I know some of them need to finish being wrapped correctly. We're working on it. Um, some of it's going to be made into jerky, so it doesn't matter anyway. Um, on this top shelf, my local but butcher runs a sale quite often for five pounds of ground beef. We generally get between 10 and 20 pounds every time that they have this sale. From the same butcher came this meatloaf. It is very yummy. Um, why I haven't fixed it yet is beyond me. Um, trying to think of, I have to do this. I have Raynaud's and it's very hard for me to handle this stuff. On the second shelf, aha, that's where my butt I need to grate. Um, there's some sherbet from where we've all been sick. I'm going to move that out of the way. All of this. These are all ground beef. Um, this is from our Kentucky Proud. I guess it would help if I actually put the camera there, right? This is all Kentucky Proud ground beef. Um, these two rows. All of it. All of this beef was grown and processed in the state of Kentucky. I'm proud to have it in my refrigerator. This... is a whole frying chi whole fryer chicken. It was grown and processed in the state of Kentucky. I'm proud to have it in my refrigerator. We're gonna skip over that for a minute and I will get back to it. Hopefully if it does not fall off on me. Sherbert, again, from where we've been sick. I have to change hands because that cold gets to me fast. These, and I will explain to you, I did not, these are T-bones. These are also Kentucky Proud Meats. Um, we actually did not order those. Um, we had a little bit of confusion with our order, and um, we ended up, I guess you could say, getting blessed with them. We did. We paid for them, but we didn't. They they were not in our initial order. So moving forward. In this drawer, other than the peaches, you see all of this beef filet, filet ming, mignon. I cannot say that word. Don't judge me. Um, you know, don't kill me in the comments. All of this is Kentucky Proud meat. I'm moving that so that you can see what's underneath it. And I'm trying to do it quickly because... Oh my gosh, the cold just hurts really badly. Um, that's a backup. Okay, in this drawer also, we have several ribeyes. Messed up. And we have several ribeyes, several strip steaks. Um... Sirloin, um, and you know that's the, the basic gist of what's in here, and some some cookies and peaches that we I need to deal with. Um, those will dehydrate, or we'll do something. We'll make them probably make them into some peach jelly. I think that might be the thing to do. Anyway, I have to move these back down here so I can put the sherbet back in the drawer. Because if not, I will forget. <laughs> And I'll have sherbet mush. Um, and we'll we'll go back up because some of this some of this stuff is not Kentucky Proud, and I want to differentiate. 
to change hands again. I'm so sorry. Um, the, the box that we got, the boxes that we chose were mostly, these are chickens, these are chickens, um, these are ribs. I wasn't feeling well when I put most of this away. This underneath here, just kind of disregard because it's eventually, it will be warm food eventually. Um, sometimes I can't always process it in jars, so I freeze it until I can get it into a jar. But down here is more strip steaks. Um, yeah, those are strips too. All of this that I'm that's in this type of freezer paper. These are, this is more ribs. Um, all of this is Kentucky Pride um, meat, meaning that it was all. Oh, now I have to get back up. We didn't think this through. Um, it's all Kentucky Pride meat. So, let me put this sherbet back in here. I have to change hands. I'm sorry. Raynaud's is painful. And it's a pain in the keister. I don't mean to complain, but it really, it really just is. Now, I follow several homesteaders. And, um... As you know, that's kind of my ultimate goal. And that's part of the reason why you find strange things in my freezer, because we don't, we try not to waste things because I have a means to where everything can be used, recycled, you know, or composted or something like that. I just can't do it on the level that other people do because I live in a rural, or I don't live in a rural, I live in kind of like a suburban environment. Anyway, so I told you I was going to do a butcher box, and I did, in fact, have them throw out the butcher box, and I did because it, it comes packed with dry ice, and Ian loves to play in boxes, so I was afraid that might irritate his skin or that something bad could happen there, so I went ahead and had them, to had them toss the actual box, so when the next one comes in, hopefully I won't be sick and can do this but in my butcher box this time hopefully I don't throw stuff in the floor I got this is butcher box is grass fed um, beef um, is sir I got these are stripped sirloin steak there's two of them um, now you're probably wondering, okay, if you've got this Kentucky Proud stuff, why did you get the Butcher Box stuff? Well, here's one reason. I don't have available to me through the Kentucky Proud boxes things like bacon. This is grass-fed bacon. I had four packs of it. Um, I can't remember. I think that was with it too. Hang on just a second. No, I'm sorry. This is this is a Kentucky Legend ham. But you, I, I can buy them at Walmart. You, they may be in your area. I don't know. I'm so sorry. My hand, I can't, I'm running out of being able to switch my hands. Um, there may be some in the downstairs freezer because I can't remember now where I unloaded all of this. And this is pork. I don't have, I don't use a lot, a pork loin. I don't use a lot of pork, um, but the, the butcher boxes give you just a little bit more of, I think I have some ground pork that may be downstairs in the downstairs freezer. Um, I'm sorry, whenever I have a week like I've had this week, starting off with a horrendous headache and ending up with yucky stuff, I can't quite keep my brain functional. Hang on just a second. Okay, I'm sorry, my hands are freezing and that's kind of all of that that I can do for right now. Um, I, I covered most of everything that is Kentucky Proud and that is um, 
that came in the butcher box. And there's some more pork loin. I think they're downstairs. Please don't do that, son. Did you hear me? Then act like it, please. Um, anyway, um, if I find it, I'll show it to you. But I know there's more that, that came in that box. And I will be putting a code down in the bottom of this video for Butcher Box, where you can use my link to get $30 off. And um, I haven't tried it yet to tell you, I, I know I'm going to get another box, um, but I haven't tried it yet to really give you an, uh, I can't think of the word, but it is something that I'm going to try for a couple of weeks or a couple of three months. And now, like I started to say earlier, you might be thinking, well, you have all that Kentucky Proud. I'm sorry. It is one of those days. As I was saying, you may th be wondering why, you know, you've got all of that Kentucky Proud meat in your freezer. Why are you getting Butcher Box too? Well, because A, my first and foremost thing is to help out Kentucky farmers and buy local and buy from them, which is what I do. Got some cool looking hair going on. Um, second of all, um, this is, these are the extras. These are the extras that are not offered in the Kentucky Proud selections at this point in time. If they were to offer me bacon, if they were to offer me this other stuff, then I'd take it. But right now, it's not offered. So, it's another way to help other farmers that farm in a sustainable manner that I agree with to help them do what they do and also to feed my family. So, um, my Kentucky Proud boxes, the bun it depends on which bundle that I pick, the prices on them are a little bit higher than the prices that are on the butcher box um but i'm gonna buy kentucky proud i i right now i will have to buy things like ground turkey and stuff like that from the store but and ground you know ground chicken and things like that i'll still have to buy that from the store but as much of it that i can source locally is what i'm gonna do and that's what i'm looking forward to i just haven't found a source yet that will source turkey ground or source, you know, ground chicken or something like that. Um, in a lot of Walmart stores, there is Kentucky Legend brand turkey and ham that's like lunch meat. And we do buy it, we do use it, and I do like it. I have to be careful how much of it I consume because it is processed into like a lunch meat. So that salt... Yeah, not a good thing for the kid, um, for me. So anyway, that's the end of this freezer haul because I'm not going downstairs right now. Um, so uh, when my next butcher box comes, I will give you a better, um, I'll do an actual unboxing. And I apologize that I didn't get to this time, but I couldn't. The, my physical health wouldn't allow it. So I hope this kind of like helps you out. If you have a, a local butcher, I mean, I know, guys, I know it's easy to go shop at Walmart and go shop at Kroger and all that good stuff or your local supermarket, even Aldi and stuff like that. I know it's really easy to go and buy food from there. But if you live in a state like I do, where there are farmers trying to make a living, Okay, not right now. Take that in there. If you are, if you have the opportunity, and sometimes it costs a little bit more money, but you are helping a single, a small business owner, and you are helping them stay in business and helping them farm sustainably, resourcefully, and live a, a better life, and they give you a better quality of food. So, I strongly recommend helping buying local. You know, buy your buy your produce local um, as much as you can. Buy it from the people that are doing it in your state. 
that's just me. Anyway, I got, I heard about Butcher Box through Stivers Homestead. Um, they are another homestead that is here in Kentucky. Um, they're not really that far from me. Um, but I watch them and I enjoy their videos and I enjoy watching them grow. So I hope that you will enjoy watching us grow. So have a good day. This is the freezer haul. We're out of here. I'm the mayor's daughter, remnant backyard homestead. See you. Bye.